Um, did you see Undisputed that Skip Bayless said the Clippers are his team now and will <laughs> obliterate the Spurs? It's like he's completely left the Spurs fandom. Look, man, let me tell you something. Skip Bayless is not a real Spurs fan, okay? He's not a real Spurs fan. Stop thinking that Skip Bayless is a real Spurs fan. He's not. He's not a Spurs fan. Just because he mentions the Spurs um, and says that he likes that team and, and blah, 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 he's not a Spurs fan. And I'll tell you why he's not a Spurs fan. Number one, you're not going to praise Kawhi Leonard the way that you praise Kawhi Leonard if you're a Spurs fan. It's just not – like, don't get me wrong. There's Spurs fans that are over it, okay? There's Spurs fans that are like, ah, you know, I don't have any hostility towards Kawhi anymore. You know, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. Like, there's those Spurs fans. But there aren't any Spurs fans out here buying Kawhi Leonard jerseys and wearing it around and saying, I still love Kawhi. Like, no one's doing that. You can still like them, but – no Spurs fan is going out of their way to become a Clippers fan all of a sudden. Um, so right off the bat, that's not a real Spurs fan. Number two, now this is the most important thing that Skip Bayless has said where I, and don't get me wrong, I like Skip Bayless, okay? I'm not somebody that hates Skip Bayless like like the masses. I actually like Skip Bayless. I like hearing his takes because they're so funny. Um, and sometimes they're pretty good, but most of the time it's like, bro, how did you come up with that conclusion? Um, but the second thing that Skip Bayless said, that proves that he's not a real Spurs fan is the fact that he actually said that he feels like Popovich is overrated. If you can find me a Spurs fan that says Popovich is overrated, I, <laughs> I, I will lick the tires on my, on my Nissan. Like if, if you can, <laughs> If you can find me a Spurs fan that would actually say that, pigs fly. Like I, he's not a Spurs fan, bro. He's not a Spurs fan. Um, I think he is a true Cowboys fan, but he's a toxic Cowboys fan. Like he's the type of Cowboys fan that drive me crazy. The one that's like goes in where he calls all these LeBron fans blind witnesses, which I don't disagree with it necessarily, but he's a blind witness when it comes to the Cowboys because I'm a Cowboys fan. But his optimism is stupid. Like he came into this season thinking the spur or the Cowboys are going to do great. It's like, what, what made you think that? What would make you think that if they don't pay Dak? Like, what would make you think that they would be fine or be great? Like, no, is Karma going to catch up to him like it always does? Of course, they're not going to have a good season. <clears throat> Silly, bro. <laughs> I hate Skip Bills. Chris said, I can't stand to watch Skip trash. You used to like Skip during the first take days. Yeah, Skip was cool during the first take days. I mean, Skip, Skip is still cool. I like Skip. Okay, guys, I like Skip. All right, I do. I, I, I won't. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm not a Skip fan. Okay, I like Skip. I do. Um, but he's not a Spurs fan. I just had to come to that reality that he's not a Spurs fan. He needs to stop. Acting as if he repped the Spurs. I disagree with you, Dunk. Pop is overrated. Had multiple All Stars through his tenure. That doesn't mean he's overrated. That doesn't mean you're overrated. Like is is Phil Jackson overrated? I mean, he had Michael Jordan and Kobe. He's not overrated. Just because you got talent doesn't mean you're overrated. Not only that, Popovich has never said himself that he's the greatest coach of all time. Or like, even though I believe that, Popovich is very quick to give all stars on his team the um, the uh, credit. But let's not act like he had all these all stars on his team and he didn't help develop them, or he didn't pick them, or he didn't create that team. That, that's part of his greatness is that he helped create that team. I mean, I know he said he always says like, well, it's separate, you know, the, the head, the office does their thing and I, I just coach them. But if you even listen to the testimonials of people like Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, Mona Ginobili, you will know that the man isn't overrated. Not only that, Tim Duncan, think about Tim Duncan. He is the greatest power forward of all time. I don't think many people will dispute that. Right. Greatest power forward of all time. Excellent power forward. Excellent big man was the star of the league when he came in superstar caliber just one of the greatest of all time could be considered in a top three top five list and no one would really get too irritated by it right 
with that being said, he respected Popovich. Okay? He he allowed Popovich to coach him. Like similar to, you know, Michael Jordan and, and Phil Jackson, that in and of itself makes you a great coach. If you can have a star player with that much ego, because Tim Duncan had ego, with that much ego buy into what you're selling and for you to be able to get onto these players and they respect you, that's coaching. That's not overrated. We wouldn't have won those championships without Popovich because if it was another coach, Tim Duncan probably wouldn't have stayed in San Antonio if the coach didn't do their job. So uh, that's that's blasphemy, bro. He's, he's not overrated.